Mr. Jansen has been a teacher and coach here at Eagle Valley High School since 2015. Unfortunately, this will be his sixth and final year here. However, he is not leaving for no good reason. I'm gonna go on a big boy walk. Uh, in total, it's about 7,800 miles, uh, which is kind of, it will cover the Appalachian Trail, the Pacific Crest Trail, and the Continental Divide Trail, also known as the Triple Crown of long distance hiking trails in North America. The Triple Crown is essentially a great unknown to all those who wish to start it. Only 12 people have ever completed all three trails in a calendar year, the same amount of people having walked on the moon. A journey like this takes an insane amount of preparation, and it requires detailed planning and research. You know, just like running, uh, I will be taking a break after the cross country season to kind of let my body return to, as uh, Kirshner would say, as Kirshner would say, homeostasis, and uh, and uh, let's see, just uh, and then I'll, I'll resume running with, with, uh, with about a month to go, as well as probably hitting the weight room probably walking around with a pack in the cold with uh, my dog Kimbia back in Kansas City for many hours a day and um, a lot of it is just like mental fortitude it's more mentally challenging than anything. While a vast majority of Mr. Jansen's preparations will be physical and mental one major attribute needed for his journey is proving to be difficult to attain. With this bureaucratic hoops I have to jump through is to successfully acquire a through hike permit on the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, that's the middle of the of the three trails. Um, so that's been that's been fairly challenging just because uh, there is a set limit of 50 people per day allowed from March 1st to May 31st and they released 35 of the permits on Tuesday November 9th and they all filled up within an hour and 54 minutes every single one, all 3,220, um, which is dumb because not all 3,220 people are going to through hike it. And then they'll release the other 15 permits per day from January, um, or on January 11th. In order to complete this trip in a calendar year or less, Mr. Jansen has to precisely plan out his mileage and timeline. And my goal is to hit about a marathon a day average for 365 days so my timeline start the Appalachian Trail by uh, February 3rd my birthday and my goal is to get through it in 89 days um, transition to the PCT start by about May 5th or so and get off the trail for my friend's wedding by about Cascade Locks Oregon which is on the Columbia River between Oregon and Washington and then I'll have about 600 miles left of trail, which at the rate I'm going, my goal is to get through that in about three weeks or so, and then uh, get shuttled over to East Glacier, Montana, the Canadian border, and then hike southbound. Um, my goal is to get through Colorado by October 31st, Halloween-ish, or maybe the first bit of November down by Pagosa Springs. And then uh, ho I hope to finish by Crazy Cook, New Mexico on the Mexican border um, by the first-ish week of December. Although he is anxious and excited to leave, Mr. Jansen can't help but reminisce on his time here at Eagle Valley High School. I'm going to miss probably coaching the most. Um, that's going to be the hardest to step away from, even, even for a year. Um, but, you know... It, uh, just a, a lot of memories, a lot of like, a lot of rapport, a lot of uh, relationships I've built over the last like six and a half years. That is really hard to go anywhere and not and not see somebody you don't know. And I feel like pr pretty rooted here. While there are an abundance of important things to remember when attempting to complete these trails, one in particular might stand out more than the others. As Mr. Jansen learned on his Appalachian Trail through hike in 2012. Deviating from a set diet on a hike like this can be detrimental. Uh, cardinal rule number three while, while uh, through hiking the Appalachian Trail is to not deviate from your standard diet and take hummus with you. Because if you do, it turns your guts into a roiling slurry of explosive diarrhea. So 
it's been a great morning. <laughs> Three miles in, and I've stopped probably four times. Or I have stopped four times. So uh, just down at the stream right now, treating water. And uh, I'm going to try to get to uh, Bastion, Virginia today. So that's about 26.3 miles. I think I'm going to make it maybe a little bit further because the terrain isn't so bad today. While his six years here at Eagle Valley High School have been ones to remember, we are excited to see what comes next for him. Good luck, Mr. Jansen. This has been Jordan and Noah.